One piece of kit I could not be without for pole fishing is this little baby. Gentleman's rest, spray bar, front rest. And a lot of people think that they're only used effectively in windy conditions. And while they are amazing in those circumstances, I use a spray bar an awful lot, not just to hold the pole better and more stable, but to get different um, effects and advantages as well. So for example, today I'm fishing on the Stainforth and Keedby Canal. It's towing to the right and the best way to present the rig is by holding it still and I don't care how steady a hand you've actually got you can't hold a rig as still as you can with a spray bar by holding the pole and that float sat there now absolutely perfect and the other nice thing about using a spray bar to hold the bait still is you can be accurate my cupping kit and my top kits are exactly the same length and I know that if I'm cupping my bait in in between my legs in this little strap on my box just here and I'm then fishing right on top of that with the pole in the same position, I'm super, super accurate. And for fish like skimmers and bream, that's very, very important at times. Now, another little advantage to a spray bar, as well as holding another little pommy there, beautiful little fish. Um, another little advantage to a spray bar is not anything to do with stability as such. It's more about presentation and having a smooth fall of the rig now when you try and hold um your pole when you put a rig in often you'll move the float around a little bit and today it's flat calm and there's not a lot of wind at all but if i want to get a slow fall um as the bait falls in one thing that i can do with my spray bar is stick my pole in my little hoop of my seat box flick the rig out and lay it flat and then rest the pole on the actual rest with the tip of the pole low to the water. And what's happening out there now is my pole's level with the water, the float's in and the rig's laid flat. And by letting that fall in nice and slow, I get a dead smooth and slow fall. And it also frees my hands up to accurately loose feed a little bit of bait as well. So, and as you can see there, straight away, just as that were falling, I got my bite and I'm sure, especially in clear water and on natural venues, you don't get that same smooth, slow fall by actually holding the pole. You can only really get that by using the spray bar. Now, another time that a front rest, gentleman's rest spray bar comes in handy is when you're playing around with feeding. A lot of the stuff that I do internationally or on natural venues is about not just fishing on your bait, but fishing around it and especially past it. And often a little trick that I use, and I know that James Dent does as well, is I'll feed my bait with my cupping kit holding the pole, just here like so. And sometimes you'll have a great run of fish fishing on top of it just there. But, excuse the train that's going to come past in a moment as well, by the way, folks. A little bit noisy. <coughs> A nice little trick to employ when you, especially for skimmers, when you're skimmer fishing, is to actually feed your bait holding your pole. So you've then got the option of fishing on top of it holding the pole. But you've also got the option of putting the pole in between your legs and fishing just sort of 10, 12 inches past it or on the back edge of it. And, that, and it's amazing the number of times that you'll have a little run of fish while you're holding it. Things will go a little bit quiet and then you'll just slot it in between your legs, rest it on your front rest and you'll get another run of fish fishing just past it or just on the back edge of it. And as you can see that's just falling in nice and slow and smoothly. I've got both hands free to loose feed a little bit of bait if I wanted to. You don't get a small, smooth, a steady fall in like that when you're actually holding the pole. And if it is a little bit breezy or it is windy, then it comes into play even more. And there's nothing stopping you using a spray bar, even on a venue that's towing and moving, you can just sort of lift a little bit of pressure off and actually tease a rig through or trot a rig through a swim as well. And it's actually nice and smooth. So while they are a piece of kit that are dead handy on windy days, and of course you can get better presentation and you, you can hold a bait very still. There's also lots of other things 
<coughs> excuse me, that you can use them for. The accuracy factor, the slow falling, um, fishing past your bait a little bit. So for me, spray bar, piece of kit you could never be without. And one final little thing that I will mention is you can actually put some markers on the spray bar. So for example, sometimes on a, a river or a canal or when you're fishing over a certain little bit of water, you can get bites on top of your bait and you'll find you've got a little certain point on your spray bar where you might want to fish. And if that's the case, you could just put a little tiny tip up tip X mark on it and you can then try fishing to the left of that, to the right of that, um, and use that little mark as a little bit of accuracy as well. So loads and loads of advantages. Another train coming back the other way. I'll just see if I can catch one more as that rig is just sort of kicking in now. Falling in nice and slow. <coughs> Positioning wise, I always try and have it so my pole tip is at just above the surface, not under the water but certainly not really high off it um, because you want that line between your float and your pole tip to be nice and low to the water so when fish pull your float under they don't feel too much resistance I reckon these are going to be a right little devils now and not give me a final fish to finish off on give it a little lift and drop it back in We're on the stainy today, we've done, there we go, one to finish on, it's only a little one. But I'm sure there you can see there's more uses for a spray bar than just helping you hold your pole in the wind. Loads of little edges you can get from it. I set one up 90% of the time that I go fishing these days um, and just play around with it. It can be a real advantage. Right folks, why should you become a Catch More Media channel member? Well, I can think of 50 good reasons right now because that's how many exclusive videos are in our members area. And we only started putting them on there last February, so just yeah. under a year ago, yeah. Rob. Lots of content. You've had a lot to do with it. Loads of content. Really enjoyed putting it together. Loads of extra things for you guys to watch, especially when the weather's a bit naff. Yeah. It keeps you busy. I'm particularly proud of the stars we've got on there as well. So big thanks to everyone who's helped us get this off the ground. Yeah. That's including Matt Godfrey, Hadrian Whittle, Christian Jones, of course, who's probably on there more than anybody. Yes. Jordan Holloway, yourself, who did me a lovely live match. We've got so much content on there and more in the pipeline coming up. So 100%. Bobby Taylor, we've been out with him. Yeah. Stuff from him is probably going to be filtering on any time about now. It's, um, it's just going to get better, isn't it? 100%. Plus... Recently, sort of the last six months, we've started doing live matches with Star Anglers, haven't we? Yeah. So every month now, you're getting a live match for your 4.99, sometimes two. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's plenty uh, plenty going on on there's... there. And 4.99 for the extra membership, of course, so that gets you um, every live stream, every video that goes on there. Or you can pay a bit more, 7.99, and you can get um, everything, or all the edited content, should I say, a week earlier than everybody else. So yes, plenty to go at. Plenty to go at. Exclusive live streams every month. Don't yeah. forget them. We, I'll be running them with the likes of Lee Kerry. He's done one. James Dent's done one. Yes. Christian Jones done one. Yes. Jim. Penwrighted. Penwrighted's oh, done this. one. I enjoy this. Great. Todd Bermana special. Loads of little interesting topics covered. So if you have a little sit down, watch through them. There'll be loads of little gems you can pick up. So there you are, folks. Have a look at it. If you like what you see, please let us know. And if you've got any suggestions of things you'd like to see on our extra or elite channels just drop a little message in the comments and we'll get on the case see you over there